Hello, good morning everybody. Today we are going to learn lesson number 5 in our grammar subject. Lesson number 5 is syllables. What is this syllable? Syllable is a one stroke word pronounced from the mouth. Syllable is a one stroke word pronounced from the mouth. We have to learn this syllable. Uh, very important this is because we are using this syllable in uh, spoken English in most of the cases and also learning the spelling of the uh, lengthy words. To learn the spelling of the lengthy words, we are using this syllable system. Therefore, syllable is a single stroke word pronounced from the mouth by in the one day sari ucharvagwa one shabda. Therefore, syllables are very important in learning the things. This is not available, this subject is not available in anywhere in the grammar book, but you can find this uh, 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 find this lesson uh, in this book. This is a state syllabus book uh, written by Mr. Fernandes and uh, uh, Vivekananda GB. Uh, both are uh, teachers of Sagar Taluk only. They are working in Sagar, Ta Sagar, Sagar uh, town and uh, they have consolidated what all the things which are appearing in the state syllabus 10th standard second language examination. If you are having money, you can purchase this. You can get it. It may cost about 80 rupees. Okay. Therefore, but to us also for ICSC syllabus, this lesson is very important. I already told you that syllabus is a one stroke word pronoun from the pronounced from the mouth. Now, how many kinds of syllabus are there? We can see. This is not syllabus. This is syllable. I again repeat. Syllable. S-Y-L-L-A-B-L-E. That is syllabus. Your list of lessons. At the starting of your textbook. That is called as syllabus. What are the syllabus you are having? You are having. Teacher will ask. Then you will tell. These are the lessons sir. We are having. That is the syllabus. Now. There are. Four kinds of syllables are there. Four types of syllables we can see in general. Earlier in your notes and other things, I have mentioned only three kinds. That is uh, mono, mono or single syllable, disyllabic words, and trisyllable words, and multisyllable words. Uh, this is not there. This has been included in the notes in the multisyllable words itself. That is enough. If you if you note down uh, in your notebook, it is enough. Or if you have got time, I will give the photo of this and you can go ahead uh, writing the same in your notes. Incorporate the same in your notes. Now, monosyllable words. You see, while pronouncing, you are pronouncing month. How you are pronouncing? There is no stop at all while pronouncing month. Month, you are telling Month means at one stroke you are not cutting the word into two parts. Therefore, it is called as monosyllable words. Stru. Stru is also monosyllable word. Strength. Strength is also monosyllable word. Sleep. Sleep is also monosyllable word. Bench. Bench is also monosyllable word. Laugh. Laugh is also monosyllable word. Deep. Deep is also monosyllable word. Clutch is also monosyllable word. Now, we will go for disyllabic or double syllable. Disyllabic or double syllable. Double syllable. Double syllable. Picture. You see, while pronouncing picture, you have got a stop. Where it, you, you are stopping? Pick. You are stopping. Picture. You are not telling. Picture. Picture. You are not telling like that. Pick. Picture. You are pronouncing. There is a stop here. Picture. Picture. Next. Courage. C O U. Courage. Next. Command. 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 
Next between BET after BET, you will have a stop. B will comes afterwards. Next formula for a for MULA mula. Next judgment. Judge. First stop is there. And next meant. Next tuition. T U I. The spelling of tuition is T U I, not T U. Mind it. T U I T I O A and tuition spelling. Whereas the spelling of tutor is T U T O R. T U I T U T I O N. Shun. There are two shuns. One is T I O N and another one is S S I O N. Shun. Therefore, T H E R E. Therefore, these are all double syllable words. Next, tri syllable words. We will go for tri syllable. Tremendous. There are two cuts there. Tremendous. Tremendous. Three parts. Next, camera. Camera. There are three parts. Next, mosquito. Mosquito. Then, nightingale. Nightingale. Next, magazine. Maga. Two. Z. More than. Third one. Memory. Memory. That is also tri syllable. Philosophy. 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 Therefore, these are all tri syllable words. Next, fourth one is. Multi syllable words, more than three cuts. If a word is having more than three cuts, we, are, we say that it is a multi syllable word. You see, arithmetics, you are cutting arith, it is not correct. Arithmetic spelling is, I already told you, in English, a is very important. A, a, first cut is a, rith, second cut, ma, third cut, ticks, fourth cut. Next, mathematics, ma, first cut, tha, second cut, ma, third cut, ticks, fourth, Constantinople, con, first cut, stan, second cut, t, third cut, nople, next cut. Next, therefore, core, gendam, core, re, second cut, gendam, fourth, third cut, and fourth cut. That is histography, histography, histography. This is the thing, therefore, why, what is necessity to learn this? Syllabus. The first one is spelling. If we want to go for spelling, we have to learn according to the syllables. Correct spelling of very big words. One, you take for example, Constantinople. C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T-A-N-O-P-L-E. It is not possible at the first time to anybody to pronounce its spelling. You have to cut according to C-O-N-C-O-N. By learning, C O N C O N S T A N S T A N T A T N O P L E. We are using in most of the cases while learning, uh, we use a, a horizontal line uh, while separating the syllables. That is called as hyphen. Hyphen. Hyphen separates the syllables. You see, this is called hyphen. Hyphen, con, hyphen, stan, hyphen, t, h-y-p-h-e-n, hyphen. Hyphen separates the syllables. Constantinople. That is very important. So when con, h-y-p-h-e-n, t-a-t, n-o-p-l-e, no Like that you can pronounce and you will have a correct spelling. This is one, uh, one thing, one useful thing that you are getting. Another one is, another one has is there. Uh, if you are a fast writer, you can note down all these things. Once again, I repeat. Mono single syllable. Month, true, strength, sleep, bench, love, deep, clutch. Uh, Dice syllable or double syllable. Picture, courage, command, between, formula, judgment, tuition, therefore. Price syllable, tremendous, camera, mosquito, nightingale, magazine, memory, philosophy. For multi syllable arithmetics, mathematics, Constantinople, determination, origendum, histography. These are the things. Now, hyphen separates the syllables. While learning, you, you can write by separating the uh, syllables, each syllable. Now, the other use for correct spelling, we are using this uh, uh, syllable subject. Another one, another one, I will drop this quickly.
you see and they, at the end of a line in your exercise notebook this is exercise notebook this is exercise notebook this is margin this is the line first line this is the second line you see this is the second line you are writing on this single line exercise notebook you have come here you see you have come here you want to write constantinople here you have to cut constantinople according to the syllabus and should not cut according to the letters therefore come here put a hyphen then for the another line one more hyphen constantinople constantinople this is the thing then they will accept it may be evaluating officer or anybody they will ask oh something uh, he knows better english they will say then if it is a monosyllable single syllable you should not cut that u t l you have to do care to sort of that monosyllable words should be written then and there on because uh, monosyllable words in most of the cases will not exceed 3 to 4 letters therefore you can write then and there on the same way the same way mathematics you have come here writing while writing all the way mathematics here comes matha you have a line there next line hyphen matics therefore while writing in exercise notebook if a word happens to be a, a big word or multi syllable word or tri syllable word or di syllable word you have to cut the word according to the syllables and carry the second part of the word to the next line that is very important therefore you will get good english by writing all these things and everybody will accept this i think you understand the lesson hyphens are separated now i repeat i uh, syllables syllables is a one stroke word syllable is a one stroke word pronounced from the mouth mostly most of these cases it is used in spoken english matanaduva english nalli upayogistare and uh, hyphen separates hyphen is attached minus chin hyphen separates the syllables and there are two advantages if we learn this lesson one is for correct spelling of big words very big words of english another one is if there is a big word multi syllable di syllable or tri syllable word if we are go on writing in our exercise notebook if there is no space to write the complete word we can cut the word according to the syllables and put a hyphen there and carry the second part of the word to the next line with the help of a hyphen this is very essential and very important uh, oh, you will no way no way you will get this lesson it is a oral lesson and only you can get in that book uh, that uh, fernandes book or my notes thank you very much today i am finishing my lesson tomorrow lesson number 6 alphabets formation of words formation of words and formation of sentences before going that one more lesson is there that is types of letters how many types of letters in english all the things you are going to learn that may be lesson number 6 and uh, alphabets formation of words and sentences um formation of words vowels consonant all these thing is lesson number 7 and lesson number 8 is sentence okay thank you very much today